See? Right. And the only way that Satan can win is to completely wipe out humanity. So it's the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> After the worship? Oh, before. Before. From right from morning all the way down to lunch. Then you will eat lunch, then a little break, and then from uh, one, one thirty, I think, to, to three, and then three to five, and then supper, and then another seminar after that. Yeah. 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 Yes. They'll probably show it on the screen down she here, but uh, on the main main church mm -hmm. up there. Wow. But now I'm so if you want to hear it in Korean and English, <laughs> because Korean. if you want to listen up there, you'll have to get a little translator here. Because mm -hmm. they, they'll do simultaneous mm -hmm. translation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But they have two visitors came from the States. Mm -hmm. So it's not only yes. internal. They have a couple of teachers from here. Oh, but right. they have two visitors. One is a, a geologist. Uh -huh. And uh, so on like that. He has a master easy science for mm -hmm. geology. Mm -hmm. Great. 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 When I was in college, mm. I was going to a non adventist college, and I took geography and geology. And of course, my teacher was and was basically an I don't know, agnostic anyway, atheist, and he was a, a an evolutionist. See. And, I was very and so I had a lot of fun with him, and I gave him science to, to, to show that Noah's flood is truer than Darwin's evolution. Mm -hmm. See, all these layers and everything were not laid down over millions and millions and millions of years. <laughs> <laughs> they were laid not in one year, see? <laughs> oh, it's very interesting. In, yeah. in the Grand Canyon, they found a city that goes down like 1,500 caves. It goes 1,500 feet down. It was big enough for 50,000 people living in it. And it has Egyptian hieroglyphic uh, all on it, in it, and the carvings are of the Egyptian gods. Oh. And when this was found in the 30s, they, they had eight, eight foot Tall mummies, and uh, uh, they sent this into the big museum in New York. There, the uh, and uh, it all disappeared. And the two men that had worked for the uh, uh, museum there in uh, New York, the most you know, famous one, and uh, they did 
disappeared too. So what does, how does it happen? They stole them? Yeah, they, they just took all the stuff that they sent in from the Grand Canyon and put it in a, a secret place and took out all evidence of it. And they had the two guys that had worked for them for years and, and gone into this city and taken pictures of it and everything like that. They just killed them. And uh, mummies? There were, there were mummies? Egyptian or? mummies, eight feet tall. Good mummies. Good mummies. Yeah. Good mummies. We were talking about the Egyptian city in the Grand Canyon. Egyptian city. Yeah. <laughs> Is this that? Big enough for 50,000 people to live. This habit. It's you. Wow. And uh, at 1,500 feet dug tunnels into this were these mummies eight feet tall. In the Grand Canyon. In the Grand Canyon. And I've seen some of the carvings that are absolutely, that recently were caught there, that were carved uh, from the sandstone that just like the ones along the Nile there. But of course, uh, the great museum isn't going to admit to anything. <laughs> wow. Because they all everything that comes out of their mouth is Darwin. See? Darwinism. Yeah. Yeah. This this layer here right at the bottom, this was 1.5 billion years ago. 